tries again by Tom Percival. Tilda's world was just as she liked it. She had her friends, her books and her toys. Everything was just right. Until one day, Tilda's world turned. Upside down. All of a sudden, everything was topsy-turvy and nothing felt right anymore. Things that had once seemed simple now felt incredibly difficult. Tilda didn't feel like seeing her friends. In fact, she didn't feel like doing anything. Everything just seemed too hard. Eventually, Tilda gave up and decided to do nothing. Then one day, Tilda saw a ladybird stuck on its back. Its tiny legs waggled in the air. Poor little thing! She said, you're all topsy-turvy, just like me. As Tilda tried to work out how to help, the ladybird wriggled and struggled. It was no use. Tilda's heart sank. But then the ladybird tried again and again and again until at last. It flew free. Tilda thought about this. The ladybird hadn't given up, so neither would she. She found her toy blocks and tried building something. It worked! Tilda started to feel a bit better. After that, she tried reading her favourite funny book and laughed until her tummy ached. Then she went out to play in the garden. Everything still felt very strange, but Tilda tried her best. And the more Tilda tried, the more she found she could do. Although there was one thing that still felt too hard. Tilda paused at the edge of the park and watched her friends. She almost left. But then Tilda remembered the ladybird. Could she be brave? Could she keep trying? Tilda decided that she could, and it was the best decision she ever made. Even though her world was still a little topsy-turvy, Tilda felt she could cope. And because she felt she could cope, her world seemed less topsy-turvy. From that day on, whenever Tilda's world felt a bit wobbly, she just tried her best. And if that didn't work? Tilda tried again. Thanks for watching Love to Read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Take care. Bye for now.